So it appears things are getting worse for Marvel's next temple big budget movie. No, we're not talking about Venom 3. That's a Sony Pictures, Columbia's Pictures movie in collaboration with Marvel. But it's not a Marvel Studios movie. We are talking about Captain... Wait there. We are talking about Falcon, Brave New World. Why am I saying that? Because some of the feedback is like, yo, we're left thinking, what the freaking hell? Why is he Captain America? Why is he going to lead the Avengers? And what the freaking hell is he doing? I've actually had people reach out to me that were at this test screen. It's actually mind-boggling. They've spent close to $400 million already, and apparently they're going to be reshooting more bits because the feedback is that bad that even the Twitter scoopers are all agreeing that they're hearing the same thing, that it sucks, basically. And I'm really positive about this movie. But if they went with the original plot that we heard about, I don't think it would have been that bad. So, yo, what is freaking good, YouTube? What's here? If you are new around here, what the freaking hell are you doing? Make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the Marvel DC Kaiju, a monster vs. Poop Kit, your base content that I personally try to deliver on this channel. Become a channel member for less than 99p. Also, follow us on Instagram at WarStew to see the S, that beautiful face behind that beautiful voice. And also check us out on Twitter. What's you, G? Right, let's get into it. So we went over the whole plot maybe a week ago or so. So we're not going to go over the whole plot. So Captain America, brave new world, bombs at test screening. Now I get it, test screening is subjective based on the population, the populace of the sample size that they are realistically having in a test screening audience. But it's very important for Marvel's feedback, the marketing of, of how they're going to market the movie how they're going to change parts. The general consent is people are left feeling what the freaking hell is going on. So there's some conflicting information here. So it has been six years. Damn, since 2019. Uh, is it really? It's been six years since Steve Rogers handed over the Captain America reigns to Sam Wilson, aka the Falcon in Avengers Endgame. That was in 2019. It's 2020. Oh, I mean, I guess maybe. It goes on to say, it will be the lead of Captain America Brave New World. Two different cuts of the film test screen last week and plot details for one of its cuts have leaked online. The person who attended didn't seem to like the movie overall. Okay, let's just, let's just come in here. Because according to trusted scooper Daniel RPK, that's nonsense. So there was a post going around, there's two different edits of the movie. And even if there were two different edits of the movie that were both shown, it still would have the same plot point. It would have just been delivered differently. But Daniel RPK came out and said, talk to the people who got the red bracelet and the green bracelet. And they saw the same version of the film. So no, two versions. Now this is bad because this means everyone that didn't like it thought it sucked. So this is an article on world of the real.com and a lot of people seem to think this website's nonsense well they said the budget for captain america 4 which is this movie was over 350 and it turns out it's like close to 400 million dollars so they've done multiple reshoots they've literally filmed this movie twice the actor playing the leader said yeah literally we we did it last summer i had to come back and do some more bits it sounds like they're going to be doing, obviously, different bits as well. So they wrapped filming in June 2023. 2023. It was set to release in July 2024. But now it's turned into a monstrous mess at Marvel. You don't push a movie this big out of your calendar, then decide to dump it in February unless trouble is brewing. Now, I can see what's going to happen here. Is Kevin Feige going to come out and say his spiel that, yeah, just like he did when he said, You've got to watch Brie Larson's Captain Marvel movie, Aris. You're not going to understand Endgame. Even though Captain Marvel's movie came in between Infinity War and Endgame, you didn't really need to know much, realistically. So they're going to make out this movie is very important. What they should do is add Chris Evans' Captain America back into it if you want to save it. Brave New World, which is said to have an epic $350 million dollars, Although, according to an article I've read, it's actually 400 plus. It's just one big train wreck. So, Scooper, my time to shine, also said this a few days back. 
Just heard back from like three people who went to Captain America. Brave New World test screening and woof. Movie sounds awful. So, yeah, I've also had people reach out to me on my Instagram DMs. And they've shown me documentations that prove they actually did go to screener. And yeah, the information we went over was 95% true. And it seems like they are trying to use this movie to set up the new Avengers team without directly doing the movie, but set up Robert Downey Jr. Doctor Doom by having the leader say, you don't know something big, something big and bad is coming. Let me get it straight, lads. You've spent 350 million to 400 million before the $100 million plus marketing push. So really, this movie is going to cost $500 million before it's even come out. And everyone says it sucks. So they're going to have to do more reshoots. They're going to have to change more stuff. Well, I've got a suggestion. I can't find it, but we went over a leak. It was the first leak for this movie. And it was a lot better than what was actually shown. So there's always conjecture when it comes to people hearing stuff online. So Marvel held multiple test screenings of different cuts for the film in the past month. I don't know if that part's true. Main criticism is the use of the leader's character in both he's either too much or too little. Okay, that's interesting. Then it goes on to say, sets up, world war hulk movie consistent high marks for sam and president ross now what i find weird here is it's a captain america movie and you've got the red hulk in it okay don't sure i get it that they set up in secret invasion you know ross being the red we we know we get how they got to this part right they've been building ross to be red hulk for years and it's finally gonna pay off but if all the movies you put a red hulk in you decide it to be a Captain America movie. You could literally make the same movie as either Winter Soldier or Civil War. It's not really hard to make a good Captain America movie. But this movie is pinnacle, but Marvel's going to push on the strings of saying it's pinnacle. But it really is pinnacle because it's a Captain America movie. So it's kind of got to bang. And every movie going forward actually has to set up some capacity of the threat that's coming because... On the actual release schedule we've got so far, we're not talking about when Spider-Man 4 and when Doctor Strange 3 could come into play. There ain't many movies in between now and the official slate for Avengers Doomsday. Obviously, we have Captain America 4, we have the Thunderbolts that also is going to tie in massively in this movie. And there's obviously going to be some singer to set up Doom. But you actually think Doctor Doom, Robert Downey Jr. is going to do cameos left, right and center. No, the money that everyone is suggesting he's making for the for Avengers 5 and 6 does not include cameo. Do you know how much you got paid for his minor role in Homecoming? Do you really think they're going to pay him to be in Captain America 4? Which I guess it would actually make a lot of sense. Do you really think they're going to pay him to be in Thunderbolts? The one that maybe could be true could be the Fantastic Four movie. But they don't have to show Robert Downey Jr. They could just tease something in there. So everyone's saying, yeah, they're going to chuck Doom in it to make it bang. I think this movie's beyond repairing, to be honest, realistically, based on the feedback. The feedback is it's a pretty dry storyline. People don't accept him as Captain America. Every time I say that, people come out and say, yo, Wall Stu, you're racist. No, I'm not. Not at all. Not even close. But what I'm saying is, at the moment, we only have the, the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show, and then he gets his own Captain America movie, big budget movie, it's got the same budget as Avengers Infinity War, nearly, give or take. So, yeah, I just don't think people are going to be on board with him. So, for him leading the Avengers, essentially, the feedback from the original Reddit post basically claimed that people don't understand why he should be the leader of Avengers or be one of the leader of Avengers, and it does make total sense. To the point where some people are saying there's two Falcons in the movie, there's the Falcon Torres that's taken over, and there's obviously Sam Wilson Falcon, because in people's eyes, he is still the Falcon. So I think this movie is in massive trouble. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. It probably won't be as bad as what people were saying because they will change things for sure. Apparently, the original director kind of got sacked and there's other people working on it and producing it. Sure, it may not be as bad as what some people were saying. And yeah, a lot of people will say this is going to set up Avengers Doomsday and Doctor Doom. Yeah, but having the leader have a throwaway line being, you don't know what's coming. You don't know what's coming. Really, that, that's the line. Well, I think it was better when they were trying to set up Kang the Conqueror. I think Marvel is in trouble, but not really. This movie doesn't come out till February. So they're going to have to spend a bunch of money to do other reshoots and add scenes and just have con some continuity. I mean, you've got Espadino's character. Apparently, it's a throwaway character 
Yeah, he's bigging himself up in interviews saying he's got magical powers, but apparently he appears once in the movies and it's all one and done. Yet the misleading trailer, he was all over the trailer because he's got star power, but I don't actually think he's going to be in the movie that much. I just find it odd that we've got a Red Hulk in a Captain America movie. Did he need to be there? No, but I get it. It's kind of you know like a, a political movie, if you like. But I wanted to do a follow-up video from the last video because there's a lot of interest. People... Like, Captain America movies will always have people's interest. It's just, is it interesting enough to go watch it? So, like always, guys, let us know. What do you think they should have done this movie? If you've seen the previous video where we do speak about the plot league, do you think it's that bad? And do you believe the insiders saying the test screenings are awful? Well, to be fair, I've had my own feedback, and it's basically, I mean, I've read the exact feedback from someone who sent me information that was there. And they sent me like vetting information to prove they were actually physically there. So it's not looking too good, but it's only October. It doesn't come out of February. They can change things. You know, Marvel, they literally changed the ending of Ant-Man 3 a month, literally up until the movie came out. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wars2, check us out on Twitter at Wars2G. Hey, I'll catch you in another video, guys, very soon. Catch ya later.